an example of a prompt library I've put together. Uh, the aim of the prompt library is to keep track of all the prompts I have used and generated for AI, so particularly for ChatGPT, but um, would work just as well in Bing and Bard or even Claude, I guess. Um, primarily text prompts. But as I get more into image generation, I might then add, an, add an, another category for images. Um, there's two components to the library. The one is an informational component, and that's um, where I've added the category of the prompt. And obviously this relates to directly to my work um, and how I'm using prompts and AI. Um, so the category, I've got three, four categories, design, and that's learning design, teach, research, and promote. I've added a column for author. Currently, it's just me um, as the author, but I thought it could at some point be used uh, across my company, and then it would be good to be able to filter by author. Date created, um, status, whether I've actually used the prompt before, tested it or not. Um, and then I move into the actual prompt generation. So I've divided this into, into columns. I thought it would be a good way to keep consistency across prompts um, by allowing you to fill in the fields for each uh, of these these different um, sections and then I'll, I'll show you at the end how it all pulls it together. So I've set up a number of predefined roles, um, instructional designer, content specialist, assessment expert, experienced teacher, and down to blog writer. So you can see pretty varied. Uh, so you select one of those, those roles as the first part of generating a prompt. And provide some context. Um, where is this role operating? What are they doing? Um, some background in terms of audience there. Then write an instruction. What do you want? to happen with this prompt, what is the, the, the task that it needs to complete. And then I've had I've put in two uh, optional fields here. One is input data, so if you have some source data which you want the prompt to use or reference, you copy and paste that in there. Um, and then the second one is output indicator. And this is uh, what you want the generation to be. So you could pr provide some samples of, of outputs that you'd like the AI to follow um, or some guidelines in terms of the output there. Um, so the final column then is the actual prompt, which basically brings together all the fields. So um, instructional designer, the context, the instruction, and then if there is input data and output indicator, it combines that all into a, a prompt that you can then copy and paste directly into the um, AI system you're using.